Wearing of face shield is no longer required in areas under Alert Level 3 and below. The Department of Environment and Natural Resources expressed concern that the used face shield would pile up in dump sites which would further threaten the environment. Crispian Lau of the Solid Waste Management Commission of the DENR said that the plastic material in face shields can be converted to raw materials or alternative fuel. The public can also dispose their face shields through the local government or other waste management companies for the plastics to be used in other projects. If you really need to dispose of it, let's turn it into a resource. Uh, we can recycle the face shields. Uh, it can be turned into other construction materials. It can be recycled back to plastics. It can be an alternative fuel. Uh, and all of these are already available nationwide. For disinfection of face shields, household materials can be used. Soak the face shield in a liter of water mixed with a teaspoon of bleach. Soak for 30 minutes and it will be ready for recycling or disposal. Lau said this would help in curbing the further spread of COVID-19. However, for individuals who do not want to recycle their face shields, they can opt to keep it. Lau said that the threat of COVID-19 is still present. If we can keep it, let's keep it now because as Yusek said, um, the COVID may not be going away very soon and uh, better use it if you can. But if you really need to dispose of it, let's turn it into a resource. Meanwhile, several environmental groups call for a proper disposal plan from the national government to ensure that the face shields will not add to the country's waste problem. They said a proper ordinance is needed to streamline the disposal and collection of face shields. The DENR has yet to release its data on the amount of waste added since the implementation of mandatory face shield policy in the country. Eileen Cerudo, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people. We give glory to God.